So thank you for joining us all today um, to listen to our webinar about Affluence Cloud Backup Solution for MSBs. For those that don't know me yet, my name is Murtava Salman and I'm the Affluent Business Development Manager here at Ingram Micro Australia. All right. So today's session is going to cover who Affluent are, Affluent's cloud backup solution, how to order and promotions with Q&A in the end. Let's just skip through this slide. All right, so today we will have Isabel Shirley, who is the Customer Success Manager at Fpoint, covering who Fpoint are and Fpoint's cloud backup solution. We have Victor Lai, who is a technical solution professional at Fpoint, who will be covering the demo and overview of the portal. And then lastly, I will go over how to order Fpoint's cloud backup through the Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace and the promotions we have running. Cool. So before we move on, as most of you have heard by now, Ingram Micro will no longer be distributing Skykick's backup and migration services. After careful review, Ingram Micro has decided to remove Skykick from its vendor portfolio in favor of other technology companies in the Microsoft partner ecosystem. For backup and migration services specifically, AppPoint is now the preferred global solution provider. I would recommend checking out the frequently asked questions at the bottom of this slide on the transition and any questions you may have, feel free to reach out to our local team here at Ingram Micro Australia or feel free to come to me. With that said, I will now pass off to Isabel Shirley to tell you a bit about AppPoint and cover AppPoint's backup solution. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Um, today I'm going to be running through a little bit um, background on Avpoint and um, a little bit about us as a company. So Avpoint is a global Microsoft ISV and also a four-time partner of the year. Founded in 2001, we support over 16,000 customers across 88 countries in accelerating their digital transformation through migrating, managing and protecting the SharePoint and Office 365. Adpoint's extensive cloud footprint spans 12 global instances across the globe, with a 99.5% availability backed by Microsoft Azure. We provide world-class support, uh, which is available 24-7. We support over 6 million Office 365 seats and help manage over 12 petabytes of data. As a mature solution, we're also able to provide our customers future preview releases through our Insider Release program. Avpoint support our customers in their digital transformation through migrating, management and protection of Office 365. For a lot of our customers, that initial move to cloud can be quite a challenge, whether it be through legacy data on premise and also how you're going to restructure and organize your new environment. We then, once you are also in Office 365, is how can we support that ongoing management, help making those changes through policy enforcement, security, and permissions management at a, at a more bulk level. In addition, the ability to be able to do more extensive audit reporting and more of a general oversight on the entire environment. Lastly is that key piece of protection. And really, that's why we're all here today to talk about cloud backup from our point for Office 365 and Dynamics. So with the granular backup, the ability to quickly recover your entire environment and also be able to report on what's currently in there. A key piece that we see for a lot of our, our partners is the ability to manage multiple customers at the same time and how you can do that in an efficient way. So for Avpoint, we have released the elements portal for our MSPs. This enables us to be able to give you access to all of your customers in a single place. 
Immediately as you log in on your homepage, you can see access to all the tiles which represent your different customers, the different services they've purchased, whether it be backup, management or migration. And you can also see the status of those current licenses. Within the portal on the left-hand side, you'll be able to see there are a number of different features. The first be your customer directory. This will give you the ability to, to instantly be able to bulk edit your licensing from within the portal. In addition, you can also do bulk starts of backup, as well as also make changes across the board for your management services. Within the system, you also do have the ability to have customised alerting and reporting. And this is the key for you not to have to individually manage each of your customers, be able to see this at a high level, so you can dig into each of the customers if you need to. At this time, I'm going to pass you over to Victor, uh, who's going to take us through a little bit more of the protection aspect that our point's able to assist our customers with, and then go through a demonstration of our cloud backup solution for Office 365. Hey, Victor, I don't think we can hear you here. Sorry, is that any better? Is that any better? Yeah, we can hear you now, man. thanks. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'll go back a stage. So basically, we're going back and looking at some common use cases as to why do we even have a backup product in the first place? And it comes down to, I guess, from two different scenarios here. One being an, a user-driven error where uh, maybe someone's just being lazy, they can't find a specific document, or they've gone ahead and, and they've enabled versioning across the environment, and so. As time goes on, a number of changes are made. Maybe one of those changes actually crops the information or they've just made um, made an error and just gone, gone ahead and I guess configure the document in a way that it's not really relevant to what the business actually needs. Alternatively, there could have been a, a malicious deletion for someone that's maybe leaving the organization as well. We've, we've all gone through those scenarios. Alternatively, uh, the second scenario will be more of a administration side of things. So it could be that you're deploying uh, maybe a new site collection and accidentally overwrites one of your current ones. Or maybe you've gone ahead and deployed or accidentally removed one of the applications that is one of the core business and core drivers of how the organization works. Just having a capability of restoring that information back to its last current state is paramount to how organizations have that safety net when it comes to bringing the information back there. This is where we've introduced AppPoint Cloud Backup, where it's a SaaS-based offering covering all the um, aspects within Office 365. And that's, we're looking at um, SharePoint Online, Exchange Online for mailboxes as well, uh, and in the new iterations, well, groups and teams as well. So this is a unlimited backup spanning across um, four backups a day, which are looking at incremental backups. With that, it's an unlimited retention. So for organizations that are either uh, have a seven year retention policy or need to keep those in, uh, keep information, customer information, or even employee information for the lifespan of the company, we're able to cover that with our backup, uh, with our backup suite. Going from that, it's also the capabilities of being able to do a granular restore going down into the nitty gritty and finding that specific document, maybe even going back to a, a couple of versions back we're able to go in ahead and, and have that granular capability when it comes to restoring that information. With that, we're not, we're not only talking about the document itself. Docu uh, data is just more than just a simple word, PDF, content like that. It also spans across things like metadata, such as uh, who created it, timestamps, uh, additional metadata that helps drive that classification. 
all that information can be brought back as a full fidelity approach with Outbound Cloud Backup. And just lastly, just the visibility and um, analytics that can be that can be utilized to give you some insight into seeing what's actually going on with my backup. Am I fully protected? What about that my last restore job? I want to say hand on heart that that information has been brought back to my expectations there. What we've also introduced is um, AppPoint Virtual Assistant. And so what that does is it's essentially a free bot that is deployed into the Teams that allows your end users or to give those end users their own control of restoring information. We've restricted it to just OneDrive and Exchange. It's just so that when it comes to the re restoration of any kind, they're only looking and affecting their own personal information. This is going to alleviate the burdens and the amount of service tickets uh, for the end users requesting for information to be restored back. And instead, it gives them that power to do it by themselves. Gives the IT the side of more time to do their own daily jobs, but also from an MSP perspective as well, um, you guys can focus on more additional tasks. Now with that, I'm gonna jump into a quick demonstration of what App Online Services is, and also the other offerings, which is Cloud Backup, and also our bot chat as well. What we're looking at on the screen here is App Online Services. So it is our SaaS-based platform that covers a number of all, all our cloud offerings, ranging from App Point Cloud Backup, all the way to our cloud management offering here on this well. With that, it's essentially a SaaS-based product. So as soon as you sign up, all you really need is a couple of credentials of what the customer is required, but also choosing, more importantly, choosing the data center of where this information is all housed. So predominantly, we, we like to expect that the customers uh, that we deal with, mainly in Australia or even New Zealand, that they choose the data center where App Online Services is to be housed uh, within Australian shores. So none of that information uh, leaves Australia at all. With that, it's a set and forget approach. So once you select and choose and scan what exactly you want to back up, whether things from SharePoint Online or specific mailboxes and excluding um, shared mailboxes or inactive mailboxes, you can do that with our dynamic object registration down below here. So this will be a periodic scan that basically scans for any new mailboxes any new site collections or any new groups and teams to be included in the backup as well. With that, I'll jump to the AppPoint Cloud Backup interface here. To walk you through it, every quadrant that you see is essentially a pillar within Office 365 that we're backing up here. And you can see that it's color coded in a way. So the ones that represent the green shield and the green tick there those essentially mean that we're fully covered in that space. So I'll take the example for 10 mailboxes. We're fully covered in those 10 mailboxes there. We can see for groups and teams, we've put it as a, a yellow exclamation mark. And what that represents is that it's a partial successfulness. So some elements have failed. Some elements have been successful. So maybe two out of 10 groups have failed. Whereas on the other side, it could be also red. Red would just essentially mean it's a maybe a full failure within that incremental. With that color coordination, it just represents a easy representation to see whether you need to do anything because it's um, yellow or red, or can you rest easy and say hand on heart, we're fully covered within that environment with that green, green shield and green tick there. Now, if I were to look into that information to see why we're getting that yellow shield, I can click on the more details and I can have a look at those four incrementals per day that we're, that we're capturing that information. So within this incremental, I can see that there's, it has a breakdown of what it's actually captured, captured in that job. In this case, 762 items have been successful, but also 27 items have failed. What we can do here is with that full analytics is generate reports to see, uh, to see what's happened in that, um, in that actual job there. What we can do is download a simple report focusing just on a troubleshooting perspective, what's failed and what's skipped, but also a detailed report in case for uh, legal purposes that you need to um, 
prove that you're actually covering that data, that information has been backed up. We can generate a detailed report that can showcase both successful things that are covered, but also failed and skipped items as well. For now, I'll just generate a simple report. And with every job that happens, whether it's a backup job or even a restoration job, it has those analytics that you can capture to give you full insights into what's going on in the back end there. So this just generates it as a uh, Excel report there, and it will give you analytics or details to see what that job looks like. So off the bat, I can see the timestamps it ran, uh, ran at, uh, who the owner is as well. So if I need to contact someone, I know it's in this case, Steven Zhang, but it also breaks down what exactly those 762 items look like, especially with groups and teams. There's a lot of moving components when it comes to it, such as the mailbox, the site, even the conversation history that goes alongside it. And it gives you that breakdown specifically as to what, what items were successful and what items were failed. Now, focusing on the failed items, I can see specifically it's 12 teams and it's, uh, there's some problems with the mailboxes as well. Going into details page, I can see specifically what item it is, what type of item it is as well. In this case, some of the tasks and planner that are skipped, but also some of the metadata has failed. But more importantly, from an MSP perspective, I'm able to take control of the environment and actually troubleshoot it myself by looking at the comments on the left side, or on the right side, sorry. So we can see here some generic areas where um, this team space doesn't have any owners or members. So this is something I can easily troubleshoot myself, but there'll be other instances where I might need some additional help with, uh, from AppPoint. So with every offering within Cloud Backup, it comes with a 24 by seven support here. That's represented in the headphone jack um, on the right side of the screen there. So this is a 24 by seven support, which, which, has, which AppPoint has uh, support offices all around the globe. So whether you need to bring information back from auditing case, say at 2 a.m., you can rest assured that someone on AppPoint side of things can assist with that. Now I'll move on to what it looks like to do an actual restoration and show those, those three easy steps. The last thing we wanna do is when it comes to maybe information's been corrupted, we've been hit with a crypto, uh, crypto lock, we don't wanna be scrolling through uh, support tickets, trying to get some guidance or even going through any user guides and documentation just to find out how to do a simple restore here. So I like to present this as three easy steps. So step one is to basically choose the platform where something's gone wrong. An end user has submitted a support ticket and, they, and they've gone, I've lost something out of my exchange mailbox, for example. So what we'll do is step one, click exchange. Step two is basically, how do we wanna find that information? And there's two flavors we can go about it. So the first one is maybe we know some information from that end user. They've submitted a support ticket, we know their mailbox and they've given some information around um, they're letting go uh, one of their one of their employees. So they need to they need to find that that last contract that they sent over. So what I can do is uh, search for myself here. And you can see it has my production mailbox, but also it includes in place archive mailboxes and shared mailboxes as well, including the backup. Now, if I go into an advanced search, because we're looking at a a contractor's policy, instead of looking through all the backups that have happened because it's unlimited retention, what I can do is just security trim or times trim the uh, the dates that we're looking at. So because I'm a contractor, or because the user was a contractor, let's look at the first half of the year. And because it's after a specific email that it contains that attachment of that contract, what I wanna do is look for the specific mailbox item as well. I can enter in additional metadata to help drive that search there. So this is in a scenario where you know what you're after. The end users have done the due diligence and they've given you some assistance to help find that item there. Alternatively, I prefer pretty pictures. So here's a calendar view of every single backup that has ever happened. So I can go back a couple months, even a couple of weeks, 
or a couple of decades, because of that unlimited retention, I can go as far back as I need to, to get that information back. What I'm gonna do here is uh, go into the month of May. And essentially what you're seeing here is kind of like a time capsule for every single backup that's happened. So I can see as of, uh, let's say the 7th of May at 2.54 AM, this is every single mailbox that was ever captured since that day. So if I wanna do a complete rollback, to May the 7th, I can do that. Now selecting that one of those calendars, um, that specific date and time, it shows me all the mailboxes that were ever captured. Now it's just like a file share. It's a point and click solution where I can go through and drill down and find that specific item that I wanna do a restoration on. For example, uh, let's go back to mine. What I can do is expand my mailbox and what I'll see is the folder structure that I've created personally. So I've got my inbox, my outbox, my sent mail, my archive. I can expand it even further to look at all the pieces of mail that are inside my inbox as well. And now it's just a matter of fact of me selecting what exactly I wanna do a restoration on. So in this case, I'll just do a couple of emails here and this includes the timestamps, the metadata, not only the contents of the email, but it's a full fidelity approach, including the attachments as well. So I've selected these three in the scope. The last option is basically, how do you wanna go about and do that restoration? And there's two methods, oh, there's three methods we can go about this. So the first one is the exportation. And so what this does is it sends me a physical copy into a PST format, so maybe I could do that for long-term preservation. Alternatively, before I re-ingest this into my Office 365 tenant, I can export this locally and just verify that this is the actual content that I want to restore. Instead of quickly just putting it back into Office 365 and it's, got, it's for the world to see already. So with the export, I can just quickly verify this is the content that I'm actually looking at. What we can do is hit the yellow button here, the restore and I can choose to do the following things. So I can restore back into its original place. So maybe Victor has lost um, these three pieces of mail. I can restore it back to as it was. Alternatively, maybe Victor's leaving the organization and instead I wanna bring this information back to someone that's taking their place. Instead, Daryl's taking over and I can select Daryl and have um, so day one, when Daryl comes in, he'll have the relevant information to go ahead and do his job instead of sending support tickets to say, trying to play catch up and finding the information left, right and center. As soon as he logs in, he'll have all this information at his fingertips there. Once I'm happy with my selection and my configuration and click next, and again, the tool set will go ahead and do that restoration as per that configuration set. And with everything, it has those analytics to capture what's going on, who's kicked off that restoration, what actually information has been restored. All that will be available within the reporting center here. So that covers it from a, a exchange perspective, from a cloud, for cloud backup, but that process of that you saw of doing that restoration is the same throughout all six of those platforms. So if you know how to do an exchange, you know how to do an now a SharePoint one, a groups one, or even a team's restoration as well. It's all the same process to make sure that it's as easy as to use as possible. Now, what I'll do is I'll walk through our um, AFPoint virtual assistant, our chatbot, to showcase what an end user's perspective looks like when it comes to restoring um, some of their own information. So right now I'm in, um, I'm in Teams and the web app. And what I can do is the first thing I, I'm gonna say when I, maybe I've lost some information or something I found is corrupted within my OneDrive, what I'm gonna do is type in the word help. So our point virtual assistant, it's gonna restrict me to say, hey, do you want to restore a specific file in OneDrive or even something in my mailbox as well? From here, I can just simply type in the word restore an email or even just be a point and click solution as well. And kind of similar, to what you saw in the App Point Cloud Backup restoration page, and ask me those similar questions to help find that information. 
So what I can do is type in some of those fields. So I'm going to type in the word Microsoft as part of that subject. Hit the submit button. And what our point virtual assistant will do is look through the recycle bin of the of the end user, but also look into our point cloud backup as well to see for any references that have the word subject of Microsoft here. And what it's done is it's spat out um, seven emails that it's found. And for what I can do is I can have a look at uh, maybe this is the correct one. I can hit the restore button here. And what AppPoint Virtual Assistant will do is, is kick off that restoration on my behalf. And with every job that even the end users do, you'll be able to track that within AppPoint Cloud Backup as well. With that, that concludes the demonstration for AppPoint Cloud Backup and also AppPoint Virtual Assistant as well. I'll pass it over to uh, Matava, I believe. Yes, <clears throat> thanks Victor, that was great. All right, so now that we've learned a bit more about AppPoint and Cloud Backup Services, let's have a look at how to order. Okay, so let's head over to the landing page for our Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace for Australia, and that's at au.cloud.im. For existing partners, you would log in at the top right-hand corner. For partners that are not yet on the marketplace, you can click become a reseller to get registered. And you'll see that on the slide that's coming up. There we go. So to select AppPoint Cloud Backup, you, you can search either, you can either search for AppPoint in the search field on the right-hand side, or you can click through the navigation panel and you would go through cloud services, backup and disaster recovery, and then select AppPoint Cloud Backup. This will then take you to the next page you'll see now. Here you can select the SKUs you are looking to purchase for your customer. You have the option of Exchange and OneDrive, full cloud backup for 365, or Dynamics 365 Backup. Simply click on Add to the Cart on the SKU you would like to purchase. Now, please note that there are two options for each SKU, the MSP SKU and the VAR SKU. The MSP one is the one where you will be managing the backup for the customer, and the VAR option is if the customer will be managing the backup themselves. Once completed, click on the cut at the top right hand side, which will redirect you to this next page. You'll be able to add the quantity required here and see what the total cost will be. Please note all prices are including GST. Once you have confirmed the quantity required, press next to move on to the next page. If this is an existing customer you have purchased licenses for on the cloud marketplace, then you will select existing customer and simply select them from the drop down menu. If it's for a new customer on the cloud marketplace, then you will need to create their customer profile by clicking add new customer. For those new to the cloud marketplace, this only needs to be done the first time. You can then select the customer for future orders of any product on the marketplace by selecting existing user from the drop down menu. Now, on this step, you'll need to add an additional parameter. You need to enter an email address for the customer you'll be purchasing the backup for. The customer email must be used to will be used to register the Office 365 tenant and it must match the corporate domain. If a valid email is not entered, the system will reject the order and you'll have to start this process again. Now this is the final page. Here you can review your order to ensure you've selected the right SKU and quantity. You'll then have to agree to Ingram Micro's terms and conditions at the bottom of the page and proceed to buy. 
Once your purchase is complete, you'll receive the following emails. The welcome to elements email is to give you access to the dedicated MSP platform where you can register, monitor and manage your customers, view reports about customer jobs and requests for online services, view license usage, as well as resolve feedback all within a centralized platform. You'll receive this email when purchasing the MSP version of the AppPoint Cloud backup, and you'll only receive this email on your first purchase. And the last email is the AppPoint online services email, which gives you access to the customer's cloud service. So Office 365 backup, management, or Dynamics 365 backup. And that's all you need to, all you need to get your cloud backup up and running. Pretty easy. Now, our fi the final slide I have here for you is the promotions page. So the promotion that we currently have running for the relauncher app point on our cloud marketplace, specifically for backup, is that you get two months free backup for all customers when you purchase the full um, unlimited cloud backup for 365 and cloud backup for Dynamics 365. Now, please note that there's a six month requirement to keep these licenses active. Um, this ends at, on the 30th of September, so make sure to get all orders in before then. Cool. So thanks for joining us today, guys. I'm going to open up the floor to for any questions you may have, and the AppPoint team or myself can answer questions. Feel free to type them in the chat box. We'll give it a few minutes to see if there's anyone. Like we've answered all the questions for you already, eh? All right, well, if there are any questions, feel free to contact myself directly on my email address on the screen there, or shoot an email to the imcloud at ingrammicro.com.au and we'll get back to you. Thanks so much for your time today, guys. Thanks, guys. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you.